Welcome everyone to our Fandom Fanatics. Today our first class is how to make a superhero collage. So the first things you'll need are your two comic books, your cardboard piece, our Mod Podge, which was in the bag, and finally two paintbrushes. Unfortunately, I don't have any paintbrushes with me, so I have two popsicle sticks. You have to use what you got. And I have scissors, which I brought from home. So these are the things that we will have. So the first step you're going to do is find a picture that you find interesting in one of your comic books. I like this action scene from Spider-Man, so now I'm going to cut it out. You can cut as closely or as far away from the picture as you want. It just depends on what you want for the picture to look like. And once we're finished, we should have all our pieces cut out and laid out on our table. So next part is arranging our pieces on our cardboard piece. You want to do this first so that you don't end up having to change your mind once you put the Mod Podge down because the Mod Podge works like glue. So once it's down, it'll be difficult to bring, take up your picture. So now that I have my pieces arranged in the order that I want, the next thing I'm going to do is take my Mod Podge and we're going to open it up and use our popsicle sticks as paint brushes. And we're going to paint a small amount on the back of our first layer pieces. So as you can see, I'm going over with a small amount and it's very thin because Mod Podge is, does spread evenly and it's very watered down compared to glue. So you really only need a little bit. So again, like I said, I am doing the first layer of my picture. So these two pictures are going to be in the background of my main picture. So we get the Spider-Man down. Let's put a little bit more Mod Podge. Even it out a little bit. And there we go. So next is our main picture, which I'm going to place on top because it is going to be in the foreground of my Mod Podge collage. So again, going to put a little bit of Mod Podge down, spread it a little evenly across the paper, and then I'm going to just set it down right there on the cardboard piece and on top of my other two cardboard pieces. And as you can see, I'm evening it out so it lays flat. And I'm going to continue doing that until I reach my last picture, which I'm doing right there. And that goes right on top of my main piece, just to give it a little bit of depth. So now that is what your collage should look like. Now the final piece I'm going to do, I'm going to take a tiny bit of Mod Podge and I'm going to spread it evenly on top of my entire piece. Now what this does, it creates a nice sealant for your piece so you don't have to worry about the paper ripping or crinkling. You don't have to worry about it getting water on it and messing up. With the Mod Podge, once you put a thin layer on, it protects the piece. And now we're done.